Oh my god, I can't believe I'm playing this again after so many years! Oh, the memories! Yes! Greetings to all, Tis I Wolfram, and welcome to Quantum Conundrum! This is a game that, uh, this is one of the first games that I ever played on the PS3. Uh, oh my god, my, uh, my stepdad bought it for me, like, years ago, when it, uh, when it first came out, and I'm just like, oh, oh, I missed it so much, because if you guys know me, you know that I liked Portal. There's a bug, what is up with you bugs and invading my space? Anyway, sorry for the, sorry about that. Anyway, the, the, this game it, it means so much to me because it was cool. It was cool to me before I knew Portal was a thing. Like I didn't know I didn't know what Portal was when I play when I played this game. And this game reminds me a lot like Portal, and it's gonna remind you guys a lot of Portal as well. So let's get into it. Oh man, I'm so excited. Once upon a time. That's how these things usually start, yes? A sister took pity on her brilliant, prolific, and incredible brother. Oh, you're brother. so humble. She had somehow gotten it in her head that he might be lonely, or at least that's what she claims. And so, oh. on a perfectly fine, productive Friday afternoon, the sister picked up her son from the Elwood Academy for Boys and dropped the aggravating child off on my... Uh, the, the brother's doorstep. <laughs> now you, I mean, the boy, had visited Quadrant oh, so Manor small. on a few occasions. Each time was complete with a grand entrance from the brother, who was oh, in fact man. a professor and inventor with oh, a man, profound and amazing. soaring intellect. <laughs> with each visit, the inventions he exhibited became more slick and cutting edge. The boy eagerly awaited the revealing of the professor's latest contrivance, but this, the most captivating of visits, started a bit differently. Oh, did it now? Oh, how mysterious. Oh. Oh my gosh. I love the humor in this because well, if you guys don't know. I can figure the transdimensional velocity regulator at approximately oh. 0 0.87 seconds past the... Oh, you're here? Yes. I have the most incredible Damn. invention to show you this visit. Unfortunately, I'm a bit... <laughs> indisposed <laughs> at the moment. You okay there, uncle? Oh if man! To the foyer, I will join you as soon as I can. If you guys don't know that voice, if you guys don't know that voice, that's the same guy who voices Discord from My Little Pony. I, if you guys didn't know, I'm 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 a bit of a brony myself, but oh my god, how do I pick up stuff? Oh, okay. I I I played this on the PS3 with the controller, so it's a bit. Actually, maybe. Actually, it would be a lot better if I. Nah, I'm I'm just going to I'm just going to play it like this. Oh man, I missed this. Confounded machine. Hang on, let me change around a few things. I apologize to the game. The the game is a bit glitchy because um it's it's pretty old. It's a very old game, so it runs like crap on my computer. Yeah. So this game is full of puzzles. It's a very long game. It's a very long game. Yeesh. I know those rumbles are a bit scary, oh, and you'll no, you'll no, see why. No, 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 no! It's gonna happen. Ah! Oh boy, oh boy! Make sure nothing hits me, because I'm pretty sure you can die if things hit you. Yeesh. And entire mansion li lockdown. What just happened? You're the scientist. You t you're supposed the to know everything. Link on my watch still seems to work, so I oh man! And I love oh, this. You, you can hear me, right? Jump around a bit if you can. Yeah, it's not. Ah, I'm I'm a mute apparently. If I can still tap into the intercom. Oh system. man! Well, I most certainly can't do better than this. Testing. This game really testing, is like testing, Portal. Testing. Testing. Oh man, that voice. Much better. Oh. Now. What in the world are you doing here? Uh, you're, you're supposed to take care of me. Your my mother's going to be very disapproving well, of you. From the current underwhelming amount of light in this room, we're still on backup power. My head. Yep, not surprising at all. Me. It Aww. seems as though I now possess a rather large epidural hematoma. A bump on the head. 
do yes, me you're, and you're such a genius. yourself a favor and head to the front hall. There's a way to restart the power grid. I will once this door opens. Oh, look at look at that. <laughs> Mysteriously. I, remember, I was in the new technology sector and then I don't know. Yeah, a little bit of a memory loss. Don't worry, Unks. I'm here to walk you through everything even though I'm a kid. <laughs> if you head over to my office over on the left, you should be able to restart the manor's power grid. Yes, it's very spooky. It's very spooky in here. Throw I don't like there. it. Boink! Yay! Well, that wasn't as effective as I had hoped. You Very anticlimactic. Generators in each sector in order to lift the current lock. There it is, the IDS Just, device. Uh, take the glove in the box. You mean the IDS now, device? I you see my facial expression right now, as I am not pleased. Achievement what unlocked: nuclear knobby, newbie. Of the interdimensional ship device, or IDS device for short. Yes, I it's know what that is. It's one piece of my latest invention that should come in handy. Get it? You know, because it's a glove. <laughs> oh, ha ha ha! Considering I was talking about the humor in this game. We might be able to lift the lockdown on the rest of the house. It yes, your very big house. Did unlock the blue wing. Well, I suppose you should start there first. You guys are gonna see, but this guy's house is ginormous. Like it is. Humongous. I must tell you, my latest invention dog. required me to make a few adjustments to the house since the last time you barged in. Uh, I mean, visited. Oh, yes. I forgot. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm still gushing over this. Ugh. Now, one of the topics that our family has been studying for several generations are rifts existing between various dimensions. I've been able to develop a power source that will channel enough energy into one of these dimensional rifts that it can be widened enough to travel through. Yeah. So what he's talking about is like he works with dimensional stuff and that's why you need the glove. But it will it'll be explained later. Oh yeah, the ice gun. This is like this is like some meet the Robinsons stuff. Where you just go through and you just see all these inventions. The glove controls the power source, which allows you to travel to whichever dimension has rifts in the area. Which There's a painting of the glove you're wearing on the Hang wall. on, I'll wait until he finishes talking. Notice how it is nice and clean and not completely destroyed by an unqualified ten year old. Or are you twelve? I can never remember. Well, considering you just had like a serious head like a hit on the head like I'm not surprised you don't remember you me or anything at all ability to switch dimensions yet just be patient no I want it I want to get into the stuff this door is using one of my inventions uh -huh. repetitive periodic articulating gruy day the R pod bird except that it's far more advanced oh yes it's it's very it's very divine yep very advanced <laughs> oh man Ah. Uh, well, because your glove is an early prototype, it has a few limitations in terms of dimension accessibility and the distance mm -hmm. it can be from a receptacle in order to function. Yeah, so every puzzle will have its respectable dimensions that you can use. So like, so like with Portal, you used portals, right? But with this one, you're using different dimensions, specifically four, in order to solve puzzles. Which is, oh my gosh, it's so cool. It's so this is cool. Such an early experiment and this is one of the first shifting, ones. So this I is the first to one. Have it triggered remotely with the drinking bird. Mm -hmm. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Yep. There's the battery. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimension. Yes, I know how this works. Which in this case is fluffy dimension. In addition to Fluffy being embarrassingly adorable, it's also rather <laughs> useful because everything is ten times larger. Yeah, see how the texture changed? Yeah. So like heavy stuff like a safe here, I can't lift up normally in the normal dimension, but in this dimension, fluffy dimension, while it's active, I can lift it. How cool is that? And there's more there's more so complex like a uh, dimensions scale, it is in later on. A portable kinetic mass to electricity converter. There's that lovely bird again. Sometimes I call him Desmond. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if, if 
my mother thinks you're really crazy. Since you're holding a version of the IDS device, you, in fact, are not the you in an alternate dimension. Yes, we get it. It's very complex. You Science, I don't care to so understand. no matter the dimension, your mass, shape, speed, and trying personality remain the same. You should oh, the humor is amazing. Battery into the receptacle mounted on the wall. So, as you guys will see, once I put this battery into the receptacle, I that receptacle will distribute the power will be able to control the, the dimension. You to now use your IDS device to switch dimensions at your pleasure. Too much fun. Too much fun. Too much fun. And now, I can be the Hulk in my dreams and just lift up a couch and throw it. How awesome is that? Like, even the sound effects are different. Which is awesome. Like it- oh wait, that one already has one. Okay. Boop. And, and, come, come on, come on. And, 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 boop. Oh yeah, I gotta switch back. Boink. Nice. See? How easy is that? As I mentioned, dimensional rifts in the manor are magnified by the stabilizing energy from- I doubt anyone cares about all the science behind this. This is what enables you to slip between dimensions when you're wearing the IDS glove. But I love just hearing him talk because like the the if you guys know who Discord is from My Little Pony, and I I'm, I'm guessing you guys don't care about that stuff, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway because I care about it. <laughs> but uh yeah, Discord, he was he was always that wacky character who would mess around with dimensional stuff. And because he was the he was the he was the spirit of chaos, he would always like open rifts to other dimensions and pull out stuff that are really wacky and goofy and he always broke the fourth wall um and that's why i found it so appropriate that he would be the uncle of of, ah, of this sort of game dynamic object linear ligation interface or random object Do vomiting device a cloning device i like my house just so so i decided to add functionality to her to keep everything gonna move away because i know what happens I'll need to tune that later. Yeah, the dollies are weird because one, they stare at you, and two, they just throw out the randomest stuff, and they literally sound like they're constipated and they're throwing up. It's it's just weird all around, but it's 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 something that you just can't help but love. Oh jeez, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get used to these controls. I might just switch over to my controller because it's easier because you use. You use the triggers and the bumpers to change dimensions, which is way easier. I would be using I would be using the PS4 to um These are my own particular hybrid beams of carbon dioxide. Stop talking. <laughs> yes, I I get it. Very sciencey stuff. Oh hey. Ah. Um that little green thing, his name is Ike. He's like a he's like a dimensional entity that just pops comes and goes because you see how he disappeared behind the bookshelf? He's not there anymore. Because he can he can move he can move all over the place. He, he can teleport basically. Is what I'm saying. And man, for a little short guy, I'm really strong for being, you know, a little stumpy dwarf. Unfortunately, the breaking of this glass is a necessary evil. Don't take that as permission to do it elsewhere. But what do you guys think? Should should I be a heartless a heartless jerk and just I don't know. Pressing this button is very hit. I mean, it resets either way, but like ah, just letting you know that you reset the glass. Thank you. I don't know why I'd have to know that, but ha 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 ha! I'm so evil. Did I? Excuse me. Did did I just hear a cow? Hey! I don't care who's milking you. Shut up! Gosh, so rude. But uh, yeah, so I can I can practically lift up anything that's not stuck to the wall like this clock here but yeah it's neat oh that and there's like the creature there is an interdimensional kinetic entity or Ike. Boop. 
<laughs> yeah, he just he just comes and goes and teleports and whatnot. And some and along the roads, he's gonna help you by giving you what you need. Yeah. When I first played this game, I was stuck at this puzzle for so long because I was like, oh, oh no, how can I how can I get this safe through if I if I need the door open and I can't lift it? So I was like, I was trying so many things. I was trying to like throw it like while changing the dimension and I didn't even realize that you could just throw it over like the big doofus that I am uh. but this game is it's, oh, it's so it's so clever and it's so long too which it, like there needs to be more games like this I mean you have Stop games like portal and take a look at the painting oh, I can't the ever talk I with you to his dolly started out as a simple metal forge that had been in the family since medieval times. The Obviously, original not... quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. Good to know. By the way, Quadrangle is like his last name and obviously my last name. I don't even know my character's name. My great-grandfather modified the old forge so that if it had enough raw resources, it could craft steel objects autonomously. Now you gotta admit this that's pretty neat. To Dolly supplied all the materials needed to build the underground railroad. I keep forgetting all the this times he's gonna. This machine single-handedly won the civil Stop war. Stop talking! <laughs> not, not really. Yes, we know history. Like I don't know if you guys want me to go to every painting where like he he talks about every little bit, but I, I guess I, made I guess my you own do. Modifications to my great grandfather's designs. The current Dolly specifications do not require any raw materials. For example, Dolly converts energy from the radioactive science juice directly into matter. I never did sort out why she makes so many copies of things. Oh well, you can never have too many safes, or chairs, or um, coffee tables. I swear, you are just like your character from My Little Pony. Just like, you always need attention. Ugh. Okay. Now if you look, look at, look at him. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. In case you're wondering, you turn on the fan. I know. I've played this game like a bajillion times. Like I've literally gone through and played this game so many times. Oh, also another thing. Um, I'm gonna get to that painting because something happens. Something cool happens when you change dimensions when you're next to a painting. So right now I'm gonna turn it to fluffy, and the fan is gonna affect the safes, so they float. And then you have to change it back in midair. It's just. It's so clever. It's just so clever. So clever. Come on, throw up another one. I don't know where you guys get all the matter to make the safes, considering... Oh yeah, here's one of the collectibles. Considering the... Like, you can't create... You can't create matter. Matter cannot be destroyed or created. From nothing. So you like, what are you converting to make stuff? Ah, that's where that got to. That is a botched experiment of mine called the awkward noise generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Why would you make those? So much easier than carrying things yourself. Yeah, you have stuff all over the place. Okay, so that's a portrait of my father, Papa Wilfred Zap Quadrangle. He was part of a top secret NASA mission to capture Sputnik. And replace it with a basketball. <laughs> the Soviets never noticed, probably because the basketball got better reception. Oh dang, that's that's pretty insulting. But anyway, yeah. So, like now the painting looks normal, but if you change it to fluffy dimension, his head is gone. Now that that's pretty creepy when you think about it. Oh yeah, and the and the little Earth in the background is a is a little cotton ball. But I guess I don't know. I don't know what's going on in that painting that causes his head to disappear, but I suppose it is what it is. And you have the weirdest voice ever. So I'm gonna take this sofa and just, ha, I'm so strong. Okay, well that, that was embarrassing. Ha, there we go. And now when I get close to him, he's just gonna, poop. He just, he just pops out of existence and just goes to who knows where. So I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna put you here for whatever reason. Oh yes, yeah, so open the door. Okay. And I need a safe. Hi, hi ho, silver. Let's let's go. Yeah. Oh, okay.
Hey guys. How you doing? All right, I'm not. <coughs> I'm dying. Don't well, worry. I haven't discussed my location a whole lot, but it seems as if I'm in some sort of limbo. Oh, that's not I good. Explore a bit and see what turns up. Oh yeah, I just re realized that that carpet's in the shape of a Q. Probably for quadrangle. Why am I always burping when I'm recording? It's very rude. I also like the dainty little music. It's just that low bass in the background. I love it. And uh, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, he says something once you break this glass. I know I'm 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 still gushing all over the place because of this game. It's just so good. Why? <laughs> because it's something you would do in another world. Well, at least avoid impaling yourself horribly. It's bad enough the glass needs to be tidied up. Oh please, you have cloning machines that can cough up all the glass you want. I mean, do you have are you really one to complain when you can when you literally have machines that can make anything you want and that chair was strangely balancing on its own. But we love it, and I need you. Come here. Yes. Moink. Yay! Oh man, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. <sighs> Hello. Hi. You're just gonna stare at me. Also, you don't want to run to the fans because you will die. Just, just a suggestion. I mean, I like. I gotta say, like, my uncle must have some big fans. Not as big as mine, of course, because I'm, I'm egotistical like that, totally. Uh, so, boink! Cough one up for me. Wow, that safe is pretty safe. Yeah, I gotta say, I, I'd give that a 10 out of 10 for safety. Please don't unsubscribe. I know that was the worst pun ever. Boink! Now, uh, this one was another one that I got really confused because I didn't know. I, I, I was trying to, like, st stack them, like, one by one, but, the, like, the fan kept pushing them out of the way. But I didn't know that the fan would keep them pressed up against the, the wall. So, I was able to build my own staircase, which, like... Oh my god, you gotta admit, that's, that's very neat level design. That's very neat level design. Also, when you go up now to this lady... Now painting of my grandmother, Nana Triangle, on my mother's side. Triangle? She kept an acute awareness into her golden years. But if you ask me, I always thought she was rather obtuse. Ha ha. Geometry do joke. Yeah. Look at her cat freak out as her hair poofs up. Like, oh my god. Owner, what have you been getting into? <laughs> Some weird hair products. And uh, that's the uncle right there. If you guys were wondering what he looks like, that's him right there. Also, <laughs> the little buddy suit as I go into the fluffy dimension. You're looking good, uncle. Looking very, very right. I don't know what else. I didn't know what else to say there. So let me actually do the puzzle. Boink, boink, whoop. I'm so athletic. And turn this fan on. Gosh, it's so weird playing it on PC because all the controls, I'm just, I'm getting so this used to. This room often gets rather sweltering in the summertime. Air circulation is very poor. I forgot that, I forget that, that he has something to say of just about everything. He really does. Which is a good thing and a bad thing because I'm make I'm trying to do a let's play. Actually, then again, I don't talk that much anyway. Like I should talk more in let's plays, but whatever. I suppose what I'm trying to say is that I, I need to work on my improv a little bit more. But moving on. Okay. Turn the big fan on. And that's death right there. Like who knew? Like like his mansion is so big that there's he just has random, random bottomless pits like what is the purpose of this room when you think about it, like why does he have these rooms 
in his house. And that's what I'm talking about. It's it's like Portal, when you just have these mass rooms that look like they serve. Whoa, that you're not supposed to do. Th what 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 is going on? You're not supposed to do that. Okay, you're not you're not supposed to do that. Also, I find it very concerning that these things have tongues. Did I? That, don't you wave your tongue at me? That's I find that oddly, oddly odd. I do. I I I I'm speechless. I have no idea what's happening right now. Normally they just fall. Normally, what is happening? Oh, I did it. Okay. That still completely baffles me. Physicality? How does it baffle you? It's literally like soft things being pressed up with a fan and... Well, I guess me jumping on them does make it a bit weird. Alright, if you could not glitch out. Don't, don't, don't. Stay. Stay. Stay, Fido. Stay. Okay? Now I'm gonna step all over you. Oh god, don't step on your dogs. Don't step on your dogs. That's just weird. I forget how to get up and get this. Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't. No, I don't. I'm not completely stupid. I don't I'm not completely forgetful. Heh. Oh yes. With these Got specifications, it. you should be able to recreate several objects in the research and development lab adjacent to my office. Fluffy Dimension is now label available in the R and D lab. Which is basically a playground for using all the dimensions. Sorry, you gotta take a little sippy sip. Where you can just go about and do your own thing. And if I'm right, he's gonna say something about this dog. This is one of the animals that Dolly cloned to rather, well, intriguing Don't results. put living things in a clothing machine. Thus was produced the world's first and only fully elastic dog. I named her Angstrom. You know, come to think of it, it reminds me of this toy from the 80s. Stretch, stretch something. Wait, is there an actual brand named Stretch, like, Stretch whatever he was going to say? I don't know. Maybe I'll look it up later. Ah, you've moved on to a part of the manor where another ah, dimensional... Ah, yes, the second dimension, the heavy dimension. This is the Gravid Wolfram dimension, or heavy for short. Hey, Wolfram, Wolfram, a, a, a. That's not where I came up with my name, by the way. Ten times heavier. Yeah, everything turns into metal. And that painting gets really weird, too. Cause now that guy has like knight armor. But seriously though, that Wolfram uh thing he just said there, that that's nothing to do with my name, by the way. That's not where I came up with my name. Don't get any don't get any theories out. Man, you guys are gonna think that probably. Hey Ike, how you doing, buddy? I've I I've been coming here like all my life, how is he not used to me? Like, don't I come here like every summer? Oh, that's still very disturbing. You really, you guys really need to be looked at. Just saying. Ah, dang nabbit. Come on, you telling me you can't lift that? Actually, that looks really heavy. So yeah, in the in the wolf. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see if I still remember the 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 combination. Wait, 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 wait. I want to know if I still remember. Hold up. That might be the right combination. Let me go up here. Cause I have to go up here, and then they're gonna throw up. Oh, 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 almost, almost. I was one off. Ah, dang it. Ah, I was close though. I almost remembered. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Good. Okay. That that was impressive. You gotta admit. There we go. So now I can hardcore parkour my way across. How long it took me to lay all that out? Be careful. I mean, I, I walked all over it and it was fine. No, I, I think the least thing you need to worry about is that mess of cables and the fact that you have androids in the wall just spewing out things out of their mouths. I mean, what kind of weird fetish do you have? I'm just saying. 
some dimensions are tightly bound together, like the one we're in right now, and also the fluffy and heavy. You mean dimension. the one I'm in, not you, because you're like in a pocket dimension or something. Which he actually does say he he does say that he's in a pocket dimension later. I'm sorry, I I'm still like just like ah, I'm playing this again. I love playing old games that I've played years ago, like like Fancy Pants Man. Like that was a that was a trip to the past. And I love nostalgia is my favorite feeling. Like if I had a if someone asked me what my favorite feeling was, it would be nostalgia, because it, it's just oh, I feel so cozy. I feel cozy. To widen the heavy dimension rifts in this area. Yes, I, I understand. I understand. Yeah, so now I can use the heavy dimension. Like I can switch between the both two of the dimensions. I'm sorry, that's just so satisfying to do. So now, on this, on its own, this box normally wouldn't push down the, the scale and activate the door, but now... It's heavy enough to do it. Ain't that neat? Oh, wait, he's gonna throw up Ike. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Ike! Oh, he just poofs away. I guess, I guess he's fine. So, now, god, the, you just have lasers just sitting about. So now I gotta make it heavy so it smashes through the window. Are you not gonna have anything to say about me breaking all of your glass? There we go. Yeah, so there is some like timed uh, situ- You know when you're going through portal and there's such sections where you have to like- You have to shoot portals in midair to solve the puzzle. Well, there's gonna be a lot of cases in this game where you have to change- You have to switch between dimensions like- while stuff is happening, so yeah, it's very, very cool. There seems to be a large expanse of piles. Oh, jeez. Okay. With various random objects. No, very not cool. where you are. Here in this confounded place. I, I get that. Are those hard candies? They're a little fuzzy. Ugh. Pleasant. What? Again with the cow! Shut up! What? I, I, because I was small when I played this, I didn't understand what he meant. But pleasant? How is that pleasant? Excuse me. Stairway to Fluffy. Okay, so I only have the heavy dimension to use. So whatever you throw up, nice I have job. to use. No, not really. Oh shush! I know what I need to do. With the increased density and higher melting points of items in heavy dimension, quadrangle laser beams okay. are rendered rather ineffectual. Ineffectual? Well, aren't you just knowledgeable? You gonna say something about this guy? <laughs> that, that, oh, oh, that tiger. Whoa, it is on some weird drugs that I'm not gonna list out, but if I turn it to heavy, Apparently, we've gone 7C style. Oh, uh, this game. This game has just so much in it. Like, it still baffles me that it came out, like, so many years ago. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I know my stuff, guys. I know. I'm here to guide you through this wondrous mansion. Don't worry. You won't get lost on my watch. I mean, that is if you guys are playing this along with me, which I, I, I encourage you guys to go buy this and play this for yourself. Like, um, but I will warn you, uh, when I was trying to start up the game on the, on here, it like, it did not start for me. There was like a weird AMD CPU setup.exe error. So, I had to do some troubleshooting stuff, and it it was all kinds of weird. Thanks, buddy! I uh, came you... across Ike some time ago, and he decided to follow me back to the man. Cool story! Okay, I was, I was gonna wait for him to stop talking. But if you look on Ike, he has like a little name tag that says, My name is, and then drawn on it, it says Ike. So adorable. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. If I'm right, there's a- Ah, there you are! I- 
are, are you okay? Because those are some... <laughs> now you just sound like a villager from Mike Minecraft. Stole these and hid them at one point. He's rather fond of shiny objects. Well, yeah, you got a lot of shiny things. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a little, a little, a little brat and. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just love breaking things. So if I'm right, I gotta. I gotta grab one of these, and then- Oh my god, it's bright! Ah, my eyes! Ugh. So then, now, what I have to do is throw it in there. Yeah! Not half bad. Yeah, I know. I know my stuff, uncle. I don't need your help, okay? Even though you're the genius that caused all this. Oh boy. There's that lovely feline. That fancy feline. And I, here we go with a long story. This was once the family cat, Lord Widget Pompadour Fluffington the Fourth. He's gonna talk a lot, so why Widget do I bother? The first. He somehow wound up in one of the Dolly cloning control units. I yeah. specifically constructed his monocle to fit him. Who knew it would be so impossible to find a cat-sized monocle? Preposterous. Sadly, Widget the First has since passed on, but his memory is alive, somewhat. What does that mean? Also, I didn't know what a monocle was back then, so it was like, monocle? Are you talking about like a bed or something? And like, I was a very dumb kid back then. <laughs> I'm still pretty so dumb. So, I want to clarify that Dolly is great for cloning inanimate objects, but she's not entirely capable with organic ones. Yeah, you think? This is Widget's first generation clone. We named this one Colonel Fluffy McScratchers, or Best Widget naming. the Second. Widget the second is still mostly together and functional as a cat, but just a little wall-eyed. Oh, it's adorable. I guess we know where the grumpy cat came from. I just had to pass yeah. Widget the second through Dolly again. Why? That's so I just cruel. Couldn't resist. Definitely learned my lesson with this one. <laughs> yeah. Technically, his name is Widget the third, though he often responds to derp. <laughs> I often find him walking around in circles while staring at his feet. Very friendly, but possesses the intelligence of a sack of rocks. Oh, you. you I, I swear, this uncle has- My uncle has some weird fetish. I mean, this kid's uncle has some weird fetish with, like, things being chucked out of a machine's mouth. Like, you just- just picture this for a moment, guys. You have, like, a robot inside of a wall. Just a face. And then it just- bleh, It just blitz out a cat. Uh, that's just weird. That's just weird. Needle in the haystack. And I know why this is called needle in the haystack because if you guys will see There's the battery I need, but Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, and you need some work too. Let's be honest. Okay, Note these lasers are important. If you disrupt the blue beam, I know. It something. Yes, I I know. If you interrupt a blue beam, it deactivates something. Yes, I, I understand this, Uncle. Though some of the people out there might not understand. So, thanks. I mean, I could explain everything my, my everything myself, but it's funny to hear him say it. I guess. I'm just gonna assume that the Uncle is funnier than me. And chunk. Cool. So now, now, get out of my way. Thank you. Like, I, I have the force. Like, did you guys know that? I have the force. Okay. Jesus. Everything's going wink wonky. So I need one safe. Let me line I'm this up correctly. I'm not really sure how many BEDs of radiation that is. Hope you're not looking to have children later. If I do, I let, remind me never to send them to your place, because honestly, this is a horrifying experience. Where there's just, there, I'm like a 12-year-old child going around my uncle's giant mansion, who's practically like Cat in the Hat, and there's just giant fans, shades falling from every which direction, giant robots with giant mouths that I could probably fit into. That I, I I didn't mean it like that. I meant if they wanted to eat me. I'm just gonna keep playing. Sorry. Yeah, that 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 was. 
Thanks, Uncle. You saved me. I mean, I do it for you, but these things are like practically glued to the wall. Also, <laughs> and yikes! I'm assuming Ike has like it, it. They're just a blob, and they just like they have no. They have like a very gelatin-like. I, I don't know, a very squishy, um, and durable skeleton that allows them to be. Squashed <laughs> without any damage whatsoever. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, that's pretty freaky. Just saying. This place is truly fascinating. That combined with the fact that I have no clue how I was transported here is certainly puzzling. It's mostly dark. Well, maybe not dark. Sort of twilight. Twilight. Twilight Sparkle reference. My Little Pony. Ah. Sorry. That's. Just, I was just. That's just funny to me. Fantasy. Are you saying that because there's a giant fan here? Hmm, I'm on to you. There will come in rather handy. Oh, will he now? Diddle-loop. I don't know how I'm able to hear that thing being activated. Just like there's like a there's just like a there's just like a speaker behind me that's just like diddle-loop. And I'm somehow just able to hear all of this. Okay. So if I'm right, which I probably am considering I've played this game like a billion times. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 I thought I wasn't gonna make it. That would have been bad. All right. I know you're gonna say something. Oh, please stop waving your tongue at me. That's very gross. <laughs> look at it, look at it. It's just so dumb. It's just so dopey. Okay. Thanks. Time to make a safe stairway to heaven, literally. And we Gucci, give me you. Oh, I, I for a second there, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to grab it. Boink. Cool. Oh, and this one's a bit sketch considering, considering. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's me. That's me. That's my. That's my character apparently. <laughs> Why? Why are you in a furry suit? Is every painting that I come up to that has a person in it just gonna wear a furry, a furry suit? Besides grandma? Oh yeah, sick radical metal, dude. Okay, so now... This puzzle is a bit finicky because you need to go and then stop and then go and then stop. Takes, takes ultimate precision and timing. It looks so cozy over there. How? Like, are you referencing to the fact that the beams were like making it cozy and whatnot? What are you suggesting? I find the number three to be a very satisfying number. It's that's, a easier number. Wait, that's five. The proper amount of scoops on an ice cream cone. That's that's five. That's not. Uncle, are you sure you didn't get any brain damage while teleporting to a random dimension? Hip hip. Cool. Well, I could have done it better myself. Not bad, though. Oh, please. You somehow got yourself stuck in a dimensional bet. Dimensional limbo. I bet I could do that better. I bet I could get myself stuck in a random dimension better than you can. Just saying. You may remember some of my past inventions from previous The trips. ice gun. <laughs> this is That's a very ice, ice gun. gun. Freezy Ray Vaughn. Okay. That's, that's great. Oh, I really wish I could do that. <laughs> well, I mean, he's just, he's just trying to, he's just trying to act like he's in the Wild West. What's so wrong with that? But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this, uh, this first episode of Quantum Conundrum here. Ugh, I really loving this game already again because like it's just it's like a blast from the past from when I played it so long ago like believe it or not when I played this game I actually commentated on my own uh, because that was just a thing I like to do and I'm crazy 
if you guys enjoyed this game, I, I highly recommend you guys go get it yourselves. It's it it works sorta. It's a bit iffy. Um, there you might have to troubleshoot a, a few stuff, but you can go look that up for yourselves to help you. Guaranteed, there's someone out there with a, with a solution, like like what I did. I looked up how to get it working, and it worked. Once again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Say bye, Ike. Bye. Then I flip a switch and fluffy is everything. Plush and sweet and soft and pink. I flip a switch and heavy is everywhere. Crash to the ground from out of the air. I flip a switch and time goes down, down, down. Stretching thin and stretching out. I flip a switch and lose the gravity. Light as a feather and floating free.